Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube shorty video. I don't have a ton of time today, so I'm just gonna show you something really simple and easy. So I figured today I would show you how to change the color coding on your markers. Okay, so I just created this blank session to show you guys how to do this. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to create markers if we're gonna work with color coding them, right? So I'm just gonna hit enter on my numeric keypad twice to create a marker. And you know we can like rename the markers up here by typing in the name field. I'm pretty sure I've showed you guys that before. But I'm just gonna create a few markers. And so right now I don't have color coding showing or displaying with my markers. So what I wanna do is I wanna go to setup and then preferences. And on this first tab here, the display tab, we wanna then go to color coding and check off always display marker colors, right? So once we do that, we hit okay. And now we see that we have our colors here for our markers. So to change the color coding on anything in Pro Tools, I just gotta open up that color palette window. So I always just click here at the head of a track and that opens it up. So it defaults to the tracks. So what you do is you just click where it says tracks here and you go to markers to change the markers. And I mean, you can change colors for groups and clips and stuff like that too here, but um, I'm just showing you guys markers for today. So we check off markers and then what we can do is we can select a marker and then we can just change the color and it's that simple. So something to keep in mind is that if we mess with things like the brightness here, it doesn't affect the markers colors, it just affects the tracks. So there are some functions here in this window that aren't going to change with the markers. But you can do stuff here like if you select a marker and you pick a color that you like, so let's say I really like this color, I can then hit hold here and select a different marker and then it'll highlight that color still for me instead of the color of this existing marker that I just selected. And then I can click here to match the color. So that's kind of fun. And this is kind of fun. It's good for doing things like matching the colors of all your courses, for example. And you can also do stuff like hit default here and that'll just return the color to whatever the default was for that marker. So that's kind of cool too if you wanna just clear the slate and start over. And then you can also do stuff like if you drag the markers around, you'll notice that the colors will then reflect the location of the marker. So that makes total sense, right? So yeah, that's basically it. That's changing the colors of our markers in Pro Tools. So I hope you guys found this shorty video useful. So please let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, consider subscribing to my channel and check out my other videos. I also have a Patreon, it's patreon.com slash noise. And I'll be coming out with new videos every Wednesday. So thanks for watching. Okay.